you walk towards your goal while you pray. When you are praying, God is blessing what you are working on. Hi guys, you're welcome back to the channel. My name is Lavika. If you're new here, please do watch like the video. You want to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining the family. Do not forget to also you know, turn your notification bell on. Drop a comment in the comment section. Also, do uh, check out my previous video. My hojis, thank you so much for coming back. Thanks so much for tuning in again. I really appreciate you guys. So according to that, you already know what I want to be talking about. You know, we are about to dive in. I'm not trying to like motivate you guys. I'm just trying to remind you. I'm going to take this as a reminder. So just see it as a reminder. It's not a motivational quote. It's just the obvious truth. Like people around you that are not really like, they're not willing to tell you the truth. They will not tell you the truth. But me on this channel, I like to tell you the way it is. Okay. So for those that don't know, if you have not really, maybe you didn't check the caption, you just you know, like the uh, thumbnail and you just click on the video. I'm just going to be telling you that time waits for nobody. Just so you know. Time waits for no damn body. I don't know what people feel like they have time on their side. When you tell people, oh, why don't you just go and learn this thing? Before you know it, you'll be choosing, ah, I can't take three months to learn this thing. People do not understand the gravity of what time old in our lives. Because time is the kind of thing that it does not wait for you. Before you say Jack already, two o'clock in the morning. Before you say Jack, it's already seven. Before you say drink, say we're already in 12 midnight. The day has gone, 24 hours is gone. So I want you to know that everybody has the same 24 hours that you have as an individual. I have my 24 hours, you have your 24 hours. What matters is how we use our 24 hours. So I'm, I'm just trying to motivate you. I'm just trying to remind you that time wait for nobody. If you are given the opportunity to learn, also you see someone to advise you that, oh, okay, go and learn it. Don't say because, okay, you finished school, you want to go into the university, and they're not picking you, you've been writing jam, you're not going to go to, you're not going to do any other thing until jam picks you. No, you're wasting your get them time. You are supposed to use that little time that you have before jam pick you. You know to go go and learn a trade learn something find something doing i see a lot of people when i go to the market i just stay at one corner and look at how oh, elderly women elderly men carry things on their head for younger children younger women younger men people that are younger to them they carry the load for them they pay them peanuts you see some people who even push you away get the fuck you know, people are they will insult them treat them like trash I know some people don't have the opportunity that some people have. But at the same time, I used to say one thing. The way your life is going to turn out, it all depends on you. I don't know the situation you are in. I don't want to know how difficult your background is. I don't want to know the fact that, oh, you don't have money, blah, 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 blah. The way your life is going to turn out, is always, and it is going to forever be on you. You cannot blame people for your failure. No. You can't blame people for your failure in life. If you don't achieve something, you cannot blame people for it. It is on you. Why? Because you have the opportunity, you have the time. Okay, for instance, you were praying you don't have money to send you to school. You have time to go and learn other things. It is okay, you want to learn, okay, nursing. You want to go for others, um, an auxiliary nurse. And they don't have the money. You can go for hairdressing. Do you know that some people that they will go to go and learn this, they don't have money to pay for the person that is teaching them. But they will tell them that, okay, when I finish learning, I will work and pay you. They will work on another person. Let me say they learn for a period of one year. They can work on another person for extra one year just to pay the debt. And now they've gained what they want to gain. They've gained their, the knowledge that they want to gain. They can easily move from that place to another place and start their life. And if you know what you're doing with your money, before you know it, you've already made a living. You can't say, eh, because my parents don't have money to put me in school, or they don't have money to put me in, in a training center, that's what my life turned out to be. You can't blame them for that. I would blame you. And those people that your parents have, they have uh, the money, they will ask to go and learn. You will say, no, 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 excuse me, are you better than people that are learning it? Are you better than them? So I've always said this thing before, even before I finished doing that. If you are even in university, it is always good to learn what you can do without your certificate. Anything can happen. You can meet yourself in any situation, any any time. For instance, now I've, I've been through with them and I say I don't have a job. That doesn't make me to not say, okay, look, I don't have a job. I want to be sitting down, sleeping, eating, and waking up. Even if nobody is complaining, it could make sense. I am not doing my parents, I'm not doing my siblings, I'm not doing my uncles, I'm not doing my... I'm doing myself. Because at the end of the day, the fault is on me. 
If I don't have anything I am doing, when I tell my friends that, oh, okay, now that I'm true, I'm already learning this, I'm learning that, they'll tell you, ah, ah, I meant to do what to learn. Ah, ah, I meant to do that. Ah, ah, I meant to do that. But I thought you learned it, so I said, yes, I'll finish that. I want to learn that. Ah, ah. I'm not doing it for them. I'm doing it for me. Because I don't know, I can have opportunity in any of those fields that I have learned. I can probably say, okay, yes, I have done this. I can do this. I can do that. I can. I, so I'm, I'm like a multi purpose. Do you understand? So it is some, it is, it is, it's a good thing that I'm a multi purpose for myself because at the end of the day, when I'm making the money, I'm making the money for myself. And if I choose not to do anything with my life, I am, it is also on me. I won't blame other people. You don't expect to blame other people that for your failure. Your failure is on you. So I just feel like time does not wait for you. Time is not going to be waiting for you. Time is not waiting for you. So any little time that you have, you need to learn one or two things. So if you are doing the kind of job that you, you work from Monday to Friday, make sure your Saturdays are Sunday. You learn something. If you are a student and are not learning, so you are using your time. When I was a, when I was in university, I go to parties. I do this, you will see me in gadgets, you will see me in this, but I still make out time for myself to make sure that I have something learning. Even when I was schooling, I was learning a trade. I was learning not because of any other person, but because of myself, because of the society where we are in. The fact that you have a certificate doesn't mean that your job is guaranteed. They can say, okay, well, tomorrow they have they need some people that can, they are good in this field, or I want to fly them out. I have, I have a certificate, I can always be flown out. Do you understand what I am saying? So don't wait for don't wait for anybody. Time is not on your side. Don't think, oh, I am young, I still have time, I still want to flex, I still want to. I know somebody that he is saying is a man of God, is a pastor, is a pastor, is a pastor. He finished school five years, he does not have a job. God will provide. If you are praying that God should bless something, when he say God should bless the work of your hand, and you're not working towards it, what is God going to bless? An empty hand? No. God will not bless an empty hand. God is going to bless what you are already working on. If you are not doing anything, you don't say God to bless that nothing. No, God is not. You know, even God will say, there is no food for lazy man. This is, this is, I don't know the word, the scripture that says that word. I say, you are not working, you don't, to be, you don't expect to eat anything. But if you are doing something, God can easily bless you. God will bless you according to his riches in glory. He will definitely bless you. But you're not doing anything. How can you be? How can you have finished school for five years? You don't have a trade. You're not doing anything. You are always in church. You're saying that God will bless you. God will bless you. Yes, God will bless everybody. But you have to have something that you're doing. That's what, that's what, what I'm saying. Time waits for nobody. You walk towards your goal while you pray. When you are praying, God is blessing what you are working on. Okay? A group, are we getting what I'm saying? This is not a motivational speak. This is a reminder that you need to wake up. If you're still sleeping on it, you need to wake up. You're not big to learn a trade. You're not too big to learn a trade. You're not too you're not too elderly to do something with your ends. That is why God gave you this end. God gave you this end because He wants you to use it to do something that will help you, that will enrich your pocket, that will make you grow, that will you know that will make you have money. There's so many things that we can do with our hands, these hands that God has given to us. And before you know it, boom, your account is... You get me? And you know, this year, I've said it in my New Year Revolution. If you have not watched it, I'm going to be linking the video up here. This year is money making here. No time for... You know, no time for slacking. No time for... You get me? So, we have to you know, buckle our belts, double our hustle, make our millions. This year, if we, if we don't make millions this year, you slept on it. You didn't wake up on time. I said this year at least you must make you must have the one million naira in your account if you don't have up to that. So like me, I don't have up to one million naira. But I know that before the end of this year, uh, God has already blessed me already because I am doing something. I am not looking at the time because the time is not waiting for anybody. Do you understand me? So I'm just reminding you, I'm you know, I'm encouraging you to find something doing. The fact that you are finished school. And you don't have a job or something that that is not the end of the world i'm just trying to make you understand that there are other things that you can do that can bring in money you don't have to be a prostitute to, you know to have money you don't have to be an amara to have money you don't have to to go to internet fraud to have money you can actually work with your bare hands that god has given to you and your brain that god has given to you and you start cashing out so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you guys get the point because that is the main purpose of every video I make. I make sure that you guys get the point. So I hope you guys got the point in the video that time is clicking, the clock is clicking. 
So please find one or two things to do. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to sub like the video. Do not forget to drop your contribution in the comment section. You know, I would really love to hear your you know, your parts, your side. Okay. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.